and then when you walk on, stop, look at me, and then introduce yourself and what you do for Hi, I'm Brett and I'm a primary school teacher. Hello, I'm Wayne Bassett, I'm a disability support worker. Hello, I'm Stephen, a landscape gardener. Hi, um, my name's Dean, I work in marketing. How much would you think you know about carpentries? Uh, not a lot. Uh, a little bit. Probably not enough. I'm actually kind of afraid of electricity. Um, what are some of the risks of changing your own car battery? Battery acid. You might electrocute yourself. Let's just throw fire in there. Get some sort of a zap. You might blow up the computer. Uh, that's for your modern cars. I'm not, I'm not at that level yet. <laughs> you can use your car battery to run the fridge in your caravan. Yes, true, you can. <laughs> I'll say yes, but you probably shouldn't. True. They, they, they've just got so many uses. Like, why do you just need one for your car? Just like plug everything into one. No, this has like got lots of power to start a car, whereas a battery for a fridge has lots of power for a longer period. What are cold cranking amps? Cold cranking amps. Amps. <laughs> I have no idea. It sounds like a band. Ooh. How much power you have when you start the car. The car. Does everyone know that? Am I the only one who doesn't know that? Parts on the battery mark negative and positive. What are they called? Points. Electrodes. Connectors. I have no idea. Terminals. The only one that's gotten that all day. <sighs> when jump starting a car, which order do you put the jumper cables on and off? I would not even attempt it. And for good reason, as you can see here. Y you take those, the um, Black first and then red second. I'd put it on to the negative first and then positive. Probably shouldn't do that. Oh no. <laughs> do you think you've learned something about the batteries, Brett? I have. I have. They're called terminals. I've learned something definitely today. <laughs> I got nothing here. I think I have. That if you need it, you need to go see an expert because they'll have the information that I don't have.